Forget about views and forget about subscribers. I'm about to show you how to make better gaming videos. The reality is this is misleading you into making worse content. This is it right here. These graphs are all that matter. All you need to understand is how to keep making videos and look at these graphs and get that blue line. The gray area is an average of all of your videos that are comparable to this one from YouTube's perspective. The blue line is this specific video. And you can see here that they change a lot, right? There's only a couple really important numbers that you need to know. First is that you're trying to get to 70% of viewers still watching after 30 seconds of your video. If you do that, YouTube is going to push your video further. However, you need to understand that you have an audience, right? They're pretty loyal to you because they subscribe to you. Your audience is going to give it better analytics. And then YouTube's going to be like, okay, cool. And then YouTube's going to go take this and give it to other people. But then those people are going to lower the analytics of the video, right? So if I take my Valheim videos and I look at the most viewed Valheim video from recently, this one, and you can see that this is why it's the most pushed video, because not only did my audience have good retention on this video, but YouTube's giving it to new people and they are retaining on this video. And that is when YouTube will actually push your video to new people. And you can see here that this video is the one that most of you came back to me on. Because obviously people see this channel, they see a video, but they don't subscribe. People don't subscribe until they've recognized your voice a couple times, your face, you know? You gotta have those 11 interactions, whatever it is. You gotta provide value 11 times, right? And you can see that this video did that. But if you just look at views, you wouldn't necessarily know why. So why did that happen? Well, you can find out, because obviously this is what's happening on my channel, but you can do the same thing. You just have to be making your videos and then look, you can just click on the blue line and play the video and you see the exact moment that retained people. And do you see these dotted lines here? Why does retention go up where these dotted lines are? Well, this is when you effectively use chapters. You can use chapters as long as they're interesting to people. Maybe you don't know what chapters are. Let me show you. This is what chapters are. You see how I can just pause the video and I can like see what the video is about without watching it? These are chapters. And when you use chapters in a way that your audience actually engages with it, they will cause retention bumps, right? And this is relevant because the first 30 seconds of your video are really important. So if you can squeeze in a useful chapter, usually around the 15, 20 second point, you're gonna bump up that retention. Why do you think it is that YouTube tells you this? Hmm? I think I'd trust YouTube and focus on that 30 second point. Now, this is another high performing video, but I made an obvious mistake. As you guys watching my videos probably knew, uh, I would spend a minute and a half talking in the video about dedicated Valheim servers. That's how I'm monetizing the content. But I found that obviously you hear that so much, there's no point in me telling things that drop retention so drastically. I have to do that just in the last like 10 seconds of the video. So it's not inconvenient, right? And that's why I put this text in a way that's not too flashy. I hope it's not grabbing your attention too much because that way I can just focus on the Valheim content and then you guys know, okay, if you want to get a server, use my link JP Valheim, but I don't have to keep telling you that over and over again. And I don't want to. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who spends like 20, the first minute of the video and the 20, 30 seconds telling you about random sponsors. I want to just be able to make Valheim content that's good and encourage people to share their love of Valheim. Now, I've been showing you good videos, but here's an example of a video where I, can, I learned how I messed it up. This video got a lot of views. It was one of my most viewed videos, right? But I basically, it was too boring in the second half of the video. So by the end of this only five minute video, only 9% of people were watching it. You guys liked the video a lot and you all had a high retention. But then when it got pushed to the new people who don't know me, they didn't retain it as well. And they started losing retention around two minutes. And that means that I messed this video up and I can learn from what happened there. It was too boring for new people who don't trust me yet. 
Here's an interesting video because at first you would think that this is worse than average, but this is actually half better than the previous video. Obviously, I'm still making the same mistake at this point in the video series where I have the pitch be too long at the end, but notice how flat once the people leave after a minute or so, most people just stay. That means it was consistent. So what you want is a flat curve. And here, really, I didn't do a good enough job of retaining people in the very beginning of the video. And because of that, they didn't stick around. And you can see that because this number here is only 58%. And really, you want this number to be around 70%. As I showed you earlier, this video has that metric at 75%. And I do have some other videos, like the root chest video and the surviving harb video. But then the further you go back in the videos, they get worse. Like I can just look at the graphs and see that they're worse, right? One thing about high retention videos, we're gonna get back to those chapters because you can see that this had a chapter right there. That moment, it captures some of those people who were just gonna leave the video. Something about being able to look at that chapter, the introduction's only 15 seconds, they see that and they don't leave. And that causes a bump in the very most important part of the video as far as growth is concerned. I hope you like that, because you can have more fun with your video games by making useful content for people while you play. That's the trick though. You can't just play games, record it, and pop it on the internet. No one's gonna care. You gotta figure out how can I play games in a way that's fun, interesting, or useful to other people. And if you wanna support my work, you like Valheim, get a dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. Comment below if you want a tutorial about something, and I'll see you next time.